Okay, so the one thing I want to go is get the last optional royal royal arm, which is right here, which is located right here. So let's go and get that final that final royal arm. Let's get the final royal arm, and then we'll be on our way to continue the uh, main quest. And then after we complete the main quest in these chapters. We will not be able to come back to the open world. Uh, so we need to make sure that we got everything all set before we continue. Because after once we get to chapter nine, it's a full on roller coaster, full on train, nonstop train. Lots of stuff is going to happen. So we must be prepared. And I believe you can only access that the, the dungeon when it's nighttime. And I believe this is the hardest dungeon to get the royal arm. One of the hardest dungeons for the royal arm. Because okay, you guys remember, we went over here, uh, the tomb of the tall, but it said that it was robbed. But we're going to encounter it over here. But before that, let's go and rest. Yeah, let's cash in the XP that we have got. Yeah, skip that. Mm, mm, mm. I am hungry. Oh, I'm hungry in real life right now. <laughs> Let's go and give me that AP. Damn. God damn. Yeah, that Garuda fight gave us a lot of XP. I did not expect her to give us that much XP. You're almost level 60. Did not expect her to give us that much XP. Holy shit. So we're level 59, so I think we'll be okay on this dungeon. It's like no architecture I've ever seen. <laughs> Wouldn't want to meet the weirdo who built this. We'll meet again. Let's go, boys. We'll get the last royal arm. As long as it's not a maze like the other it one. It's going down, down, down. Wonder how deep it goes. Oh shit! I'm actually, never mind. I think I spoke too soon. It, it might be a Check somewhat out, of a maze. <laughs> Glow in the dark. <laughs> Prompto, shut the fuck up. Knew there was a way in. No red carpet, but a stone staircase is the next best thing. Well, I guess they're only closed during the day. Huh. What manner of mechanism is this? Oh shit! Yellow yeah, 55 XP, 15, 15,000 XP. Damn. I'm not scared. My hands are just shaky. Well, that was fun. The fun's just getting started. You want to turn back now? Come on now. No, thank you. Yeah, we're level 59, which is good. Not a fan of this. I'll say. Let's go. Oh, yeah, this, this, this Gorilla weapon does some good damage. Nice. Good shit. Got some good shit. Yeah, this dungeon will be easy. Let's go. Ow. Good shit. You're on fire today. What can I say? Good shit, boys. Very nice. This place is seriously ancient. Indeed. These walls have well withstood the test of time. A stark contrast to the ruins that lie above. Ooh. Ooh. Hey. And it's gold. Cute, cute, cute. Yeah, we can give it to to uh, to Ignis. Ah. Damn. Ah. Yo, these have yo, these guys have like crowns on it. Eee, good shit. That was a critical. That was a critical damage right there. Ooh, another critic. The crit. Hmm. Let's go, Gladius. Damn. 
Mmm, nice. Unnecessary slide prompt up, but I am. It's all good. Style points, am I right? Style points, let's go. Shit. Ah! I wish I had a parry with the with the shield. That would have been cool if I had some type of parry, you know? Big damage right here. Mm. Oh shit. We take those boys. Yeah, I'm guessing there's gonna be a lot of floors to go down. Is what I'm, I'm assuming. As long as it's not a maze, you know? If it's not a maze, I'm perfectly fine with that. Let's go. Damn, we do some big damage. I like it. Did you just summon? Uh, we're, we're okay. We're okay. <laughs> yeah, to, to use the summons, it's it's just random. Like, it just, it's just random. There's no conditions, I believe, that you need to get. It's just random, pretty much. Random summons, you know, either it's Ra Ramu, Titan. I guess now that we have Garuda, now it's also Garuda. So either Titan, Ramu, or Garuda. When we're out, when we're out in the open world. So. And the conditions are just random. At least that's what I think. So that's what it feels like. It, it's just random. You know what? What's my favorite set? I think I like. The Lance and the Great Sword. I think I like them a little bit more. At least that's just me. Because I like when um, uh, uh, Noctis goes up in the air with the lance and then we can switch to our greatsword and he comes down with it. Which I like. I'll let Ignis have this lance. I want him to have some, at least some good gear, right? So we'll keep this lance. I, I like the greatsword and lance combo. That's what I love. That's what I like to do. That's what I like to do a lot. Damn it! Oh, it's okay. It's not like we we needed that. Yeah, and then the, and then that attack, the the dodge attack, is good. Yeah, see the summons are just random. Just to summon the the summon, it's so random, dude. It just random summons. Yeah, but hey, I'll take it. <laughs> sometimes uh, we need them, sometimes we don't. Just like in this case, we do not need the summons. Ah! You got this, Gladius. Get closer, at least. I mean, I think. I don't think the distance matters for the damage to happen. Or at least I don't think so. Nice. That was actually pretty stylish. I'm fucking poison. Okay, I think those guys deal poison. I have three left. And I need to go over to buy some. Really opens up back here. Well, guess that's the end of the road. So not so fast. There might be a way. Or there might not. Well, it can't hurt to look now, can it? Whoa, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, the game. Ah, uh, ah, uh, okay, let's move this way. Game, stop it. PS5, are you, are you dying? Why? All right, let's see. I'm gonna have to close this game because fuck, we're, we're fucking up. I don't know why we're lagging, but we're lagging. I don't know what's going on. Oh, really? Oh, I fucking crashed. Fuck me. Fucking hate that we couldn't save in the dungeon. Fucking annoying. Yeah, we're back here. Yeah, let's see. We just fucking start fucking lagging again. Holy shit! All right, what are we supposed to do here? A puzzle? Whoa, not. Check this out. Oh yeah, we're not done here. Ah, a floor. It's moving. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, we're going down. Well, what's going on? Hell if I know. 
All right. Uh. Okay. Let's hope it's not a tragic. Low. simple so far okay so this thing is just taking us down then or to different places spin move god i'm so glad we do so much damage dude i love it how close are we to the end is what i'm wondering Son of a bitch, dude. That's some bullshit. Sure, I'll give you that, I guess. There we go. Ooh. Okay, um... Where are we going? Oh wait, no, this is taking us up. Stop. Don't, don't start bugging now, okay? Don't start bugging now. Whoa! Why did it take us... Oh. Don't tell me it fucking... Huh. Oh, fuck you, game. So that shit leads me to the... Okay, that's a check mark there. So I'm assuming I have to do that multiple times or something? <sighs> sure, okay. I don't, I don't get it, but sure. So I'm, I'm assuming one of these is gonna lead us all the way down? Would like to wrap okay. that up more Proceed. Quickly. Okay, now this is taking us down. Is it supposed to take us down? Are we going in circles? Or... I'm confused. Wait, weren't we already... Didn't we already go here? Oh, I don't know. Okay, thank god the summon appears. Thank god. Thank god. <sighs> Alright, who is it? Garuda? Bless. Please destroy him, Garuda. Please. Please. Oh, thank Bless. Bless. Oh, thank you, thank you. I'm pissed off. Okay, so I'm assuming we go back up then, right? So I'm guessing there's another one that we had to... Go down? I think? Why is it so fucking slow, dude? Come on. I'm a speedrunner, dammit. Come on, pick up the ship, please. 
Okay, I think I get it. I just gotta go down these platforms, right? Okay. Okay, now we're going back up. Okay. Okay. They won't know what hit them. Going down. Back to it. Okay. Here we go. Wait. Definitely never been here before. No, we have not. All right. Take that, Labyrinth. Wouldn't start celebrating yet. We're not done here. You have got to be kidding me. I'm gonna prompt the dude. Holy shit, dude. Okay, we're going down. Oh, <gasps> oh shit. So freaking creepy. You guys hear that? Now we know what makes this place run. Oh, we're right here. Oh, thank. Thank, baby Jesus. All right. Oh, he hello. It's a dragon. Oh, he he All right, in good. it. Bring it on. You're good, I guess. You're good, you're good, you're good. Uh oh. We're frozen. Uh. Again. What? That still hit? Oh yes, home stretch, baby. I'm okay. We got we got we got potions all day. We got potions all day. There we go. You're done. You're done. Baba. Let's rock. Who? <laughs> what was that death animation? What the fuck? Hey. Nice. There we go. The final optional royal arm. Very nice. That's game. Ooh. Sword of the tail. Eee. Okay. Ooh. Damn. So this is the chainsaw one that we see um Noctis use with the specter. Eyes forward. Didn't mean to do that. It's a fucking chainsaw, dude. A fucking course it is. Nice. We have gotten all of the op optional royal arms. Now all that's left is to get the royal arms in the story. While we, while we play the main story. Holy shit. The one thing that was just kind of annoying in this dungeon is just how slow the freaking um those platformer the, those platformers were moving. They were just they were just slow, dude. They were just slow, and that was, you know, I'm a speedrunner, you know. 
I'm a speedrunner, damn it. <laughs> All right, I want to try this out. We did use this weapon in the one with the specter because the specter kind of morphs into different um into different weapons into the different royal arms. Um, and I guess that's what it was also morphed into when we use the forward attack. I think now we're, we're gonna continue on with the main quest now because we have we have gotten the last the last royal option of the optional royal arm, not the rest. The last um the last three are mandatory we're gonna get those royal arms when we play the story all right so we have all the royal arms that we have that we can collect up until now the last three royal arms are we'll get them once we um continue the story once we once we continue the quest and after we get all the royal arms we'll be able to use armager unleashed now here's the one thing i'm concerned about so there's a statue when we first got the ro first our first royal arm there's a statue that should have an accessory now, the only way to use Armager Unleash is to have all 13 Royal Arms. And I don't have all of them yet. Um, that's the only way to use Armager Unleash. So, the one thing I'm wondering is, can we get that accessory even though we don't have all the Royal Arms? That is my only one concern. Easy now. Because we might not be able to get that accessory because we do not have all the royal arms. Is what I'm assuming. I hope I'm wrong. But even if we cannot use Armager Unleash, uh, I done one thing I wanted to do in this LP, which was collect all the royal arms. In my original LP, I did not get all the royal arms. Um, so I'm, I was able to complete that in this LP. So I'm satisfied even though we cannot use Armager Unleashed. Royal power, royal power emulates from the statue of the Founder King. <sighs> oh, we cannot. Ah, oh, that makes me sad. No. So we can only get the accessory uh, in chapter 15 after we complete the game. Fuck. Another possible Thanks way for, for us to get it is if we... Because I know we'll be here in chapter 14. Uh, because in chapter 14, we have to return to Insomnia. So I wonder if we'll get the chance to travel here in chapter 14. I don't think so. But we'll see. And quick note, if you hear a little bit of banging, um, uh, in this few, uh, parts of the video, they're having construction done, uh, where I live. So, yeah. <laughs> Nothing really I could do about that. I could wait until they're done, but I, I want to play Final Fantasy. Before we complete this, I want to do one quick thing. Here we go. I want to do this quest before we continue on. I want to do this quest right here. Um, so it's level 67. Uh, it's the big bird that we encountered in the beginning of the game. Zoo. Yes, yes, yes. Let's do one last hunt before we complete the chapter. Because after we complete the chapter, we'll go to Altisha. And we will not be able to return to the open world for a good while. And also, we could test out the new royal arm. So, let's go. What's his warp strike? Oh, get fucked, boy. Spin move. Nice. Oh, I like the warp strike. Oh, I like it. And it's good that we have a lot of health now, so we're able to, like, use uh, a lot of our royal arms to do some big damage. And we really don't have to worry about uh, our health that much. This is a basic attack. You ready? Damn! Alright. Slow. It's a, it's a slow, but, uh, powerful. Hello, eggs. Here we go. Whoa! It was giant bird, and it's coming right at us. Oh shit! She's <laughs> prompto. Circling for another pack. Choice. Looks like it's either him or us. Damn, Prompto, you got me dirty. All right, let's go.
Damn. Let's rock. Oh. Oh shit. Oh, let's go. Come on, activate. There we go. Your big damage. Ready, guys? Let's go, boys. Mmm, damn, deplete his health. Oh shit. Iframes, baby. Come on, Gladius. Let's go. Oh, three seconds. Oh, we didn't we didn't get enough, but we knocked him down though. Damn, the damage! The damage! Oh. Oh shit. Let's go! Ooh! Very nice, boys. That's Very it. nice. What's what? I've come up with a new Hell yeah. <laughs> Can't wait to try it. Easy, let's go. <laughs> we do some good damage, dude. We do some <laughs> great damage. Ascension. Let's see, what can we get? What can we get? Let's get boost damage inflicted by armored chain. What we got here? Gain AP for executing armored chain. Boost, uh, this is all, oh, okay, okay. Gain a limited MP term, uh, temporarily after executing armature chain. Oh, let me get this one, AP. Let's get that. Add to the tech bar when Noctis suffers damage. Oh, yes. Try enemy the area closer together with the machinery by creating a gravitational field. Ooh. Sure. Country ally attacks on a foe with devastating death blow strikes. Sure. And let's get this one boosting allies attack after taking the taking them out out of danger. Was an allies critical hit rate after taking them out of danger. And let's get this one warp decoy. Very nice. Regroup is good, but I want to try Overwhelm. See how good that is. And we'll give Prompto this one. The black hole one. Okay, we're ready. Let's go on to continue the quest. The main quest. Let's go to Altisha. And get married, boys. Let's get a shot with the lighthouse. Hair blowing in the breeze will be seaside supermodels. Sure. <laughs> Nick Ignis. Seaside supermodels it is then. Oh yeah! Seaside supermodels. Take a shot from here. Good call. Ooh. Now it's picture time. Ready or not? That's cute. <laughs> that is cute. That's adorable. The gang's what? All here, see? Yes. Us? What a great picture. That's cute. Once you depart, you will lose access to the open world for a while, and rental chocobos will automatically return to the post. Set sail to Altisha. I am ready. I am ready. 
We are ready. We are ready, boys. Waiting for you on out to show. Oh, oh, got it. <laughs> it will be rude if you do not continue it. If we do not continue it, all right. It will be rude to not continue it. Okay. This will be our last notebook, and I want her to remember us by just you know. I mean, what? <laughs> Let me steal that. Doctors, even the marshal came to say goodbye. Shut up. I heard the regalia is going on the boat with you. Is it? Okay. I guess it's goodbye for now. Ah, uh, goodbye to <laughs> the waifu. Is already waiting below deck. True waifu. Hopefully she'll serve you as well across the ocean as she did here. Just don't break her, or Sid will have your head. <laughs> Hopefully, she'll serve you as well across the ocean okay. as she did here. Hey, it's it's the marshal. Something I gotta get off my chest. <sighs> What's that? I'm sorry. Sorry I wasn't there for your father. I swore an oath to protect the king. But uh, I wasn't strong enough to uphold it. <sighs> Ain't nothing nobody could have done to stop what happened. Yeah. I realized that. I mean, we could have done a few stuff. I wouldn't say nothing. I'm just saying, you know. But you <laughs> realize just what you mean to the boys by your side. <sighs> I do. Even if they can't solve your problems, you can't hide what's going on from them. It hurts like hell. Remember, those ain't your bodyguards. They're your brothers. Yeah, they are. Always. Yeah, they are. Yeah, they are. You can never have too many tools. Here, learn to wield not only weapons, but magic as well. I mean, I guess. I guess. <gasps> Here we go, boys. Here we go. I'm ready. Can I warp there? Waiting for an invitation? Get your asses on board. Hey, your majesty! What's up? Please, come back soon! We need our king! <laughs> yeah, count on it. That looks nice. I like that. Very hosen. What the fuck is that guy? <laughs> Who is he? <laughs> Who is that guy? Who the fuck is that dude? <laughs> what? Who the fuck is that dude? The wedding day arrives, but alas, without the bride. Of course, we've come for the Hydrian. 
and you've gone to such lengths to prepare. Merely my duty. Ah, but for an outsider to lead the Imperial Army must be a battle in and of itself. You've spoken to Lady Luna Freya. No. That obstinate secretary, standing in the way, while you rush off to slay the Hydrian for your poor sister's sake. I know the price of the Covenant. Ooh. You know, I've always wanted to go sailing like this. Not many opportunities living in insomnia. Out here, it's just us and the horizon. It's amazing. It's life-changing. We've quite a ways to go until we reach Altitia, so keep gushing to your heart's content. When we step off the boat... I forgot Sid dri country. is driving us over there. The anticipation alone is a foreign sensation. Then to think this is where we were headed to begin with. They've been through a lot. And there's still more to come. So next on the docket is Leviathan. What sort of deity are we dealing with? A serpent said to embody the roar and rage of the sea. We'll have to see for ourselves. Can't <laughs> let Lady Luna Frey <laughs> Got him. do all the heavy lifting. You must be so psyched to see her. Luna? Yeah. Well, we need to make sure she's all right before anything else. Indeed. Her well-being is top priority. Don't like this going down on Imperial turf. You think Lady Lunafreya is in danger there? The Empire did invade Lucis for the ring. I have no faith that ruthless ambitions will stop short of harming the Oracle. Without the ring, the crystal's no more than a rock. Hmm. I suppose. Does anyone know how Lady Lunafreya came to have the ring? It seems likely His Majesty entrusted it to her safekeeping back at the Crown City. Well, so somewhat. You should see the movie, time. King's Glaive, to understand All the whole thing. Just saying, you know? I have a copy <laughs> in, in my so back pocket. <laughs> we should watch it before we, <laughs> we head over there. Back to our encounter with Ravis. For the backstory, you know? Call an apparatus in place of his arm. Yeah, I remember. Seems he lost his old one in the invasion. But in its place, he seems to have acquired new power. Power? That would help explain how a son of Tenebrae suddenly came to command Niflheim's army. Now that you mention it, his strength did seem sort of supernatural. I just chalked it up to the Oracle lineage. His ancestry may be part of it, but that alone wouldn't account for his freakish strength. I wonder what could have happened to him. There's a Watch the movie. rumor about Lord Ravus has taken to brandishing his majesty's sword. My dad. Then what's the big idea behind that? That his power's the same as the power of kings? I cannot say for sure, but I have my doubts. Ravus wears the sword, yet doesn't wield it. <laughs> for all his newfound powers, he's still the Chancellor's lapdog, holding on to the enemy king's sword like some badge of honor. It might help if we knew what he was after. Who can say? What are the odds the Empire will crash the pool party with Leviathan? Consider it a guarantee. They failed a god to prevent Noct from receiving his blessing. They'll do so again. But we beat him to the big guy. Thanks to our friendly guide. Never know which way that one's gonna move next. The Chancellor has an agenda all his own. Sometimes it helps. Like when he called off his army and let us escape. But he was still a creep about it. Who well, feels like he's only helping us because he wants something. I just don't know what. Reckon we'll see him again? Certainly hope not. Not your type? No love lost for phonies. As Gladio said, his actions are motivated not by altruism, but by self-interest. And when he does come to our aid, I see only condescension in his eyes. Yeah, can't argue with that. Ever think you think too much? Sometimes. But it's always preferable to the alternative. So, soon you'll have your old man's ring back. Yeah, when we arrive in Altitia. Good thing. To him, it was his heritage. Is that what my dad said? Carrying a royal line ain't a task to be taken lightly. For a small thing, that ring can sure weigh heavy. After he became king, I only ever saw his face in the paper. Wait. Weren't you at the coronation? No, 
I was long gone from the city. You must have been invited, at least. Had a fallen out of sorts with your old man. Right at the end of the trip. You did? I was given to understand you stayed in touch. We buried the hatchet years later, but never talked face to face again. Should have paid a visit while I had the chance. Well, no use dwelling on it now. Got the regalia in the hold, but you're all gonna stay in Altitia for a good while, right? Yes, we believe so. In that case, I'll tune her up for y'all. Not that I'll have much to do, though. <laughs> well, with Cindy looking after the old girl. If you say she's good, she must be great. She was never afraid of hard work. Heaven knows she had a hard childhood. A hard childhood? He means her parents. Lost them both when she was little. Was big enough to understand, though. And to hurt. But you wouldn't guess that, seeing her now. Not at all. She's always so cheerful. Well, that ought to tell you how far she's come. Well, you must have seen your fair share of Altitia by now. Yeah. Only done been the once. Stayed a good while, though. What's it like? Big old city. Big. Okay. Well, it ain't the crown of city. Different. Got it. You'll see for yourself. Foreign lands seldom let themselves to trite explanations. Change of scenery ought to do you good. Well, I'm all talked out. Can't be far to Altitia now, right? We'll be there in no time. Nice having the wind at our backs. Logic is our first order of business. All work and no play makes Ignis a dull boy. Somewhere has to be receiving, too. Well, you're welcome to sleep in a while. Ain't no hotel, but I know a fella has a place. Hey, now. Westcombe ran with Reggie and me way back when. Oh, was he the other one in that photo with the garage? Yeah. Runs himself a diner or a cafe or something. Go and see for yourselves. Sure. Does the place have a name? McGee or Magoo or uh, Mago. That's the one. Nice. You can count on Old West. <laughs> He'll chew your ears off. The government issued a statement promising that the reasons behind awakening the Hydrian would be clarified in the ceremonial address. Got a signal. Delivering the address will be Lady Luna Freya, who was previously reported dead. This will mark her first public appearance since the violence that befell the signing ceremony. Lady Luna Freya's gonna give a speech? Sounds like it. Lord knows. This world could use some wisdom. Won't be much longer now, Noct. Yeah. Oh, shit. We're gonna turn the corner and... Oh, I got what's going on the, the, the city right away. I mean, we're still, we're still seeing it. Hey, it's the city. Old Tisha. Cute, cute, cute. Hey. Hey. Very nice. Hey, look at that. Hey, hey, look at that. Look at that. Very nice. Ooh. <laughs> Look at them being all excited. <laughs> Old Tisha. Does this vessel have an entry permit? Uh, entry permit? Relax. I got one. Here. That's as old as they get. Seems in order. You may pass. Thank you. Prepared in advance. Could say that. Thirty odd years ago. That's what the guy meant by old. Lucky <laughs> us, huh? That could have ended badly. Ooh, shit. And the music playing in the background is so nice, dude. Careful, Sid. I mean, I trust you, Sid. You're a professional. But even still, like... There's a waterfall, and I'm that's kind of dangerous. I mean, for any other. Oh, the the uh, the cutscene. Uh, with the thirty frames, goddamn. Well, I'm assuming there's some some magic barrier that prevents you know boats from falling off. I'm assuming, you know. Phew. <laughs> Finally back on land. Or probably not. <laughs> they call it the walls of water, but it ain't just the walls. 
is the whole damn city. Which is why we can't traverse the town by conventional means. We'll need to rely on gondolas instead. Yay! More boats. Hey, <laughs> not this. Catch. Uh, oh. Key to the boat. What? Don't you want to go sailing again? Are you sure? Why not? Old girl ought to be sturdy enough. Not I don't know how to drive a bow. <laughs> you can just give me a bow. <laughs> I don't know how to drive. <laughs> King can't I don't know shit. With wisdom alone. He needs perspective. So get out there and see the world, you hear? Thank you, Sid, for the present. Again, I don't know how to drive a fucking boat, but thank you. <laughs> Sid is giving you the key to the royal vessel, but you are not able to go sailing at this time. Oh, well, fuck. <laughs> what was the point then? Just kidding. I know it was the point. Hey, we're here. All Tisha, baby. Hey. Sir, what is the purpose of your visit? Purpose? Uh. I'm here to marry my wife. Ask Ignis. Leave it to Sid. Um. Leave it to Sid. Sid, it's all yours. Hey, didn't we just... <sighs> well, we're here to visit uh, a joint. Maga. Mag, Maga is the name, yeah. Never heard of it. Unless you're referring to the alternate entry program. What? In which case, you may pay the levy directly to me. Mm, this amount should suffice. Oh, what a racket. This is your trip. You cough up the cash. <laughs> 3,000? Eh, it's no problem. <laughs> Alright, thank you. Okay. Whoa. You want to check Westcombe's place out? Wait, how is Sick going to get back yeah, if he's if he gave us the bow? Margo. Or is he just going to wait here? We'll even make it in time for tea. And we'd better start looking now. Huh. All right? Or does this Sid just get like a ride back? So, we're looking for the guy from the picture. An estranged friend of the king. Knocked. You ever meet him? Nope. I can eat a horse. You're not staying at a hotel? Fancy rooms were never my style. Need food? Managed to stay fed all these years. Not gonna starve to death now. And old Wes will see that I don't go thirsty either. Okay then. Have Take care. No. He just stood. <gasps> They're extending the exhibit for Lady Lunafreya's wedding dress. <gasps> the Vivian Westwood? But wasn't that a memorial for her passing? Well, now it's a memorial for her safe return. Let's go see it while we still can. Oh, dress. Could that be the dress we read about in the papers? Doubtless. The designer's name is the same. Want to check it out? That depends on the groom. Might still be a sore spot. What with his wedding getting called off. Who says we can't call it back on? It can still happen. True enough. Let's keep an eye out for it. All right. Symbol of peace. See the wedding dress on display. Sure. A wedding dress? I mean, it should be easy to spot, right? Should be the goddamn wedding dress. What are we eating? I actually, I don't think I ever really that much explore this Altitia a lot. Like, the whole place. Or at least looked around at it closely. At least I don't think so. I don't remember much of what I did here in Altitia in my first LP, to be quite honest. Hello. <gasps> hey! Gentiana. Ahead lies a future uncertain, yet sure is the astral memory wherein the king may walk. Through Umbra's power, you can now revisit past memories. Summon him when you rest at Lounging's. Characters will retain their current level and abilities. Uh, rentable truck will automatically return to the post. A base you called Umbra will be set as the last rest point. He can now sail on the open seas in a row vessel. Or the boat from Gladiator Quell, Capo, and Altitia. Oh. Okay. Come so, on. Let's go see the Sounds like we're close. Call Umbra. Wait, past mirror means we could go back to the open world? Travel to past Lucius. 
Oh. Howdy, Prince. Do you mind swinging by the garage for a hot minute? We've been experiencing some awful strange shakes back here in Lead. The hunters are already looking into it, but I reckon they could use a couple more hands. Got it. On our way. So we could go back to the open world now. Well, uh, uh, in chapter eight. This is different. Oh, cool. So we could go back to um the world. We could go back to the open world. Interesting. So there's a way for us to. I, I think there might be a way for us to get um armature unleashed. Then, cool. Call Umbra. Ah. Well, I'm assuming this is new to the Royal Edition because I do not remember this. That's cool. That means once we get all thirteen Royal Arms or the last. Mm, three right the last three main ones we might be able to um get the last accessory for us to use on armature on leech cool altish is pretty big sadly we can't really explore all of it in the first like the, it was actually meant to be explored like all of it but sadly it, it wasn't like that splendid because you know how it was in the development in development hell so it wasn't really you know that they couldn't go all the way, sadly. Um, this is where we have to go. This is where we have to go. But where is the dress? That's what I'm trying to look for. Many more different locations that was supposed to be, because it was supposed to be an open world game. You know, it's supposed to have multiple sections here and there. Um, even um, I believe Niflheim was supposed to be a much larger place to explore, but Again, it was in stuck in development hell. Lots of ideas were scrapped. Gentlemen, so the whole like big idea of Final Fantasy 15 wasn't all there, you know, or at least verse 13 wasn't all there, you know, sadly. But uh, greetings. It still You're looks pretty here. cool. Excuse me, uh, could you point us to the shop with Lady Luna Freya's dress? Just follow this road towards the secretary's estate. Then brace yourself for the insane crowds. Oh, well, I guess that's to be expected. Thank you. She's a big deal. Big? Think you mean huge? You truly get the sense. We're on the right path, then. We are on the right path. Oh, the dress is so beautiful. I want mine to be like that. And it shall be, my love. As surely as I am your Prince Noctis. <laughs> Looks like the prince is going as well. <laughs> stop. Just stop. Peace. Just stop. I'll be your Prince Noctis. <laughs> stop. Well, crowd. And it's not that big, big of a crowd. crowd. I thought it would be a lot bigger. But that's a pretty dress. Everyone looks so happy. And it's all because of this one dress. Yeah. Real glad for you that Lady Luna Freya is safe and sound. Yeah. Ah. Well, that settles it. You gotta make it happen. Damn, Prompto. Become a symbol of the peace. After we tie up all the loose ends, let's think about the ceremony. A fine idea. Yeah, I'll think about it. Huge. Okay, he'll think about it. He will think about it. Anyway. Whoa! I expected invisible walls, but never mind. Holy shit. Fantastic. Call when you need a ride back. Welcome to Accordo, lads. Sid mentioned you'd be dropping in. Wuskam Armor, as you've gathered. My word, you've grown, little prince. <laughs> Damn. Uh, of course. <laughs> You were only a babe at the time. Howdy. 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 <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so this is your maiden visit. Enjoying it so far? You doubtless have many questions, so ask away. This country is a part of the Empire, isn't it? Oh, you're wary. I understand. But there's no need to jump at every shadow. 
Just be aware that the terms of our independence grant the Empire free reign to come and go as they please. We'll bear that in mind. It's admittedly a one-sided arrangement. Most everything we do requires Niflheim's permission. And Why are you talking like that? Oh my god! Stop looking at me like that! Public. Stop it! You're weird! Is quite a mystery. Yamate! Thank you. <laughs> Holy shit. Um... That's about the Oracle. You really think Luna will make an address? If every recent radio broadcast is to be trusted, absolutely. Where is Lady Luna Freya? In the city somewhere. But no one has caught so much as a glimpse of her. The media has been conspicuous in its silence on the matter, which speaks volumes of government intervention. That certainly explained the rumors of disgruntled Imperial officers leaving the city. Has anything changed with Leviathan? For now, it's business as usual at port. But word is the government will soon open the altar of the Tide Mother. In preparation for the right. Ah, but on the other hand, they're scrambling to stockpile emergency provisions. This begs the question. If they're anticipating that the Hydrian will wreak havoc, why would they allow the right to proceed? So you see lots of nifs around here? We do, sometimes even at my place. Theirs is a familiar presence, and the citizens don't think much of it. Though the High Commander did cause a stir when he showed up the other day. Ravis. So soon after they fell the Archean and Lucis, his arrival fuels rumors that they will next come to Altisha. The Empire's not content ruling all the land. They want the heavens as well. Well, if you need anything else, you know where to find me. Thanks. Appreciate it. My dear Camellia, it's been a while. I heard about your distinguished guests. Ah, you've an ear for gossip. Hello. You look like a bitch. Gentlemen, I won't waste your time. My name is Camellia Clostra. First secretary of the Accordo Protectorate. You should know, we have Lady Luna Freya in our care. And the Empire demands we surrender her. What? Yet I am loath to acquiesce unless we stand to profit. Hence I've come to discuss terms with the King of Lucis. If you've a mind to talk, come to my estate. She can be oblique at the best of times. But I assure you, her heart is in the right place. Oh, okay. At any rate, you must be weary from your journey. Might I suggest you seek your beds for now and ponder matters anew in the morning? Yeah, I think we'll do just that. The summit. <gasps> um, but before that, let me take the picture really quick. Feeling a bit peckish, lads? With some hunts? Looking to put your skills to the test, eh? Oh, Ronin. Okay. You have hunts? I didn't know you had hunts. Hunts over here? What? For real? Excellent choice. I don't know, you, you you gave us some hunts. That exclamation point, is that, um... Ah, got it. Alright, I guess we'll set up uh, the quest here. I didn't know you, there was hunts here. So, was this here in the be today? like in Before vanilla work. version? You're here to deal with the haunting? Go on. The Lakshmi is through there. Thank you. I don't know we we could fight in the in this in Altisha. Did not know whatsoever. So here we are. About to see the famous painting. Hey. This is more like. <laughs> Anyone else got goosebumps? Cool. So, there's the Lakshmi. Whoa! It's big! Oh, what's that? Is it fog? Oh, no shit! Friggin' way! Oh, pretty bold of her. Hey. Hey. Camera. Ah, 
Hey, you're I pretty. Okay. I got to use this. Time to take her down. Shit. Oh shit. Oh god. Oh shit. Ah. But was that a stasis? I don't think I could have phased there. Shit. Ah. Pronto. Ah. All right. Overwhelmed. Ooh. Nice. Yo, ooh, let's go. I'm pretty sure we had um uh MP we could have done something more after that. Pretty sure. I need um Ow. Oh shit! Ignis, stop it. Oh, shit. Yo, your design is really cool. Let's go, boys. I, I was blocking that. Ah! 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 Oh, I might die here. Psych, we out here living. Shit, now lock on. What are you doing? There we go. What can I say? Yeah! Wow! How we do it, boys? Report back to okay. Report back now. Flop onto a hotel bed. <sighs> Cannonball for me. Camp's not gonna cut it tonight. Did not know there was like some battles you could do in uh in Altitia. It just this just shows you how much I've actually uh very little I explored F fifteen right. See your prayers. See ya. I miss. Let's go. Hmm. What? I was holding L1. With everything we have. Okay. Sick. Nice. What can I say? Easy. Ow. You Come here. There we go. You're still alive. Thank you. Hey. What is it? Hey, that was kind of sick what I just did there. Oh, they have lasers and shit. I'm finding both of them. Ooh. Let's go. Uh, very nice. Good shit, boys. We completed the quest about the painting. Might as well go back and get the XP, get the money. Why not, right? Since since we already completed, I might as well complete it right away, right? So let us go. Photo, all right. Bada boom. 
Give me my money. Hey, that looks pretty nice. Ooh, hey. you could knock ah. down with a Who the fuck are you? Right now. Piss off. Give me my XP. What are you doing, woman? Piss, piss off. Thank you. Jesus Christ. I don't know. Oh, okay. That's not that thickness. So that was her coming back again. I was like, what the fuck do you want? Piss off. Damn, max HP 99. God damn. It's our little boost that we got our buffs. God damn. I think we're, yeah, that's max health, dude. Ah, damn, dude. Well, guess we need to go talk to Camellia. Yeah, like we have any other option. There's no telling how events will unfold. Let us prepare before making our way. Yeah, she can sit tight a while. Yeah, we're, we're good. Um, how far can you explore? I'm assuming you could explore lakes to like right here. I doubt you could explore all this. I doubt it. I doubt you can explore all of this. Because I know some parts in um in FF uh in Final Fantasy 15 where things got uh cut off, you know, because they couldn't because it, it was in such a development hell that I had to scrap some ideas and stuff. And I'm pretty sure we were supposed to explore a lot more in this area. No, I believe so. Wow. This place is so romantic. Then you get to enjoy it with us. All three of us. You are a lucky man. <laughs> Prompto's face. <laughs> I love that dialogue. That dialogue is such is such a like such a you know homey moment right there. Like, yeah, it's our match. You spend it with us. Hell yeah. <laughs> I love it. That was that was beautiful. Um, yeah, I'm I'm ready. That that was amazing. Sorry, fixing the camera just a little bit. <laughs> I actually don't remember this part when I first played it. Thank you for coming. The negotiation is about to begin with the first secretary uh, calls to uh, engage with it, her in a manner benefiting a king and strive to win her trust and cooperation. No okay. Sweat. First things first. Uh, proper knowledge. Pray into private affairs. Express gratitude. I want to be a mean king, but I will. Um. What did Westcom tell you about us? He didn't even tell me you were here. Fortunately, I have my own ways of finding out. Those circumstances have changed. Both the King and the Oracle are finally in Altitia. You said that you have Luna in your care. Show concern. I demand to see my waifu. I want to see her now. So hasty. Surely you can spare a moment to talk. Now, let me ask some questions of my own. I'm pretty sure whatever we choices we pick, it's still going to uh, result into the same same consequences, I believe. Um, be truthful and tell her nothing. She just wants to talk with Leviathan. She would wake a slumbering goddess just to have a chat? Somehow I doubt the Tide Mother will take kind I'm trying to pick choices I never picked in my original LP because I don't think it matters. Let me be frank. The potential chaos worries me. Chaos! You are better than Shit. most. What Sorry. Place with Sorry. <laughs> Tell me. Change to what paradise. <laughs> uh you know better than the most what the place with uh, be cheeky. Picking picking different The big guy choice. woke up and went on a trip. Really? A mild way to put it. It will most likely come to war. However, I don't care to host a battle on my soil. The gods and the Empire be damned. Be realist. Not much you can do when it comes to gods. You'd suggest I accept my city's destruction?
be programmed with whole comment. Uh, I guess we could be positive. Just protect everything. Wishful thinking. We must be realistic and discuss what we can and cannot do. Without further ado, let us talk terms. If you wish to hold the right, you must ensure my citizens' safety and aid in their evacuation. That's fine, but what about damage to the city? Your concern is appreciated, but I am prepared to accept some structural damage. Keeping the citizens safe is my chief. It's gonna be concern, some big damage. It's not gonna be some small damage. And that be is big, not all. big damage. Once the right has begun, I will not be accountable for what follows. You are on your own. Not a problem. We know how to take care of ourselves. Thank you. I'm sorry we cannot do more, but as I'm sure you are aware. Few armies can stand against the might of the Imperial fleet. That is all for the terms. To review, you are to ensure our citizens' safety and engage the Empire. Do we have an agreement? Uh, except casually. <laughs> Just to be clear, we're doing you a favor. <laughs> A final warning, though I doubt it'll come to it. My duty is to my citizens. Should any harm befall them, there will be a reckoning for both King and Oracle. Return the threat. <laughs> There'll be a reckoning for you, too. A leader must know when to bring out the steel. Surely you understand this. Probably strong front. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I'm a king. There won't be any casualties. Again, you intrigue me. You and your father are cut from different cloths. I wonder what manner of king you'll make. Madam, it's time. Assign three of your own for the evacuation effort. Whom you choose is up to you. According to our intel, the Imperial Honestly, I thought that was going to be a different response. <laughs> I thought that was going to be a different response. Scale battle. <laughs> I have yes. confidence you will do well by us, and you can expect the same in return. <laughs> I just made a positive impression. Really? I mean, I guess. I try to pick different choices from what I remember, because I'm pretty sure I, I kind of played the good, the good route, you know, agreeing and being all respectful and stuff like that. I'm pretty sure that's what I did my first LP. So I try to pick some different choices. I'm not sure if, if, I, if I did, but you know. All right, let's get the party I can't started. I promise something I can't help. Of course. You certainly opened up to them, though. What can I say? I have a soft spot for the young and tragic. They've lost Regis. They've lost the crystal. Was it so long ago the last oracle was taken from them? We've seen the Empire go mad these ten odd years. The Day of the Right. Here we go. Oh shit. Shit's about to go down, boys. But I'm ready. Because we unlocked Umbra. Um, the right, oh, we must see. Thermit. The Empire does not harass. Leviathan. Gonna be tough to pull off before the king receives her power. And with three of us on evacuation detail. Indeed. The best we can realistically do is to help the Hydrian help herself. What kind of help you talking about? Just like Titan, the Empire will seek to immobilize Leviathan. Ah, oh, with the harpoon things? If we can dislodge them from the goddess, she will have a fighting chance. Sounds good in theory, but don't push it. It's pointless. Unless you can get that blessing. Stay flexible. Stay alert. All right. Will do. Get that blessing. 
I'm still uh, predicting that maybe we'll get an, an extra icon for uh, Final Fantasy 16 uh, Leviathan as a secret icon. Hopefully, we, we do see Leviathan in um, in some of the uh, pictures in 16. So uh, I'm pretty sure uh, Leviathan will be a secret icon. I hope. It'll be two secret if icons. If to worse, you can threaten to throw the trident into the sea. Then they'll listen. In the meantime, it will be well guarded. Better than the Oracle herself. Understood. I shall reclaim it at the altar. Remember, you'll be under Imperial Watch. Right. Think of it as a necessary evil in order to forge the Covenant. I am in your debt. Once it's over, you may go as you please, but you do so without our protection. So be it. You'd better get going. Your public is waiting for you. Jeez. FBI, open up. Did she actually pose like a big threat? Like, what can she do? Like, she—I know she has like magic healing abilities, but I feel like it's kind of pointless to point your gun at her. At least that entire moment, just kind of like it's, an, <laughs> it's like a little too extreme. Like, okay, I like I get it, the Oracle healing, I get it. But I'm pretty sure that's all she could do, right? Unless she has some other magic. I know she talks with like the gods and stuff, but that's it. I don't think she opposes a, a big threat. You guys too. Of course. Not saying women cannot oppose or be powerful at all. That's not what I'm saying. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is that just Oracle doesn't seem to be, or at least Luna, to be a threat. There, you know. I don't know. Damn! Look at our health, dude. <laughs> God damn. God damn. Hey, look where we are. Cool. Uh, excuse me. I'm the king. Piss off. I must see my wife. Is there like fuck? Ah, uh, <laughs> it's my wife. Again, what was the point of the Imperials barging in and pointing the guns at her, and With little hope, not the doing nothing? <laughs> She'll reach Move out, buddy. beyond these walls for slowly but surely the light. There's always people that do that, world. right? Kind of like put does, your hand, like we see those in movies or TV shows where they put their hands on the shoulder. The kind of like, you know, like what Noctis just did to that dude. Darkness, Honestly, I'd be kind of pissed terror, if someone did that to me. Like, dude, who you, don't touch me. Don't touch me. I don't care that if you're the main protagonist. Men. Don't touch me. How dare you? Sorry. The ashes of Lucis. <laughs> A dream of peace, twisted into a nightmare of death and destruction, claiming innumerable lives and leaving myriad souls to suffer. Luna. Yet I beg you, do not surrender to despair. Have faith, for our gods watch over us. By their blessings, by the stars that light the heavens above, our world will be delivered from the perils of the dark. I stand before you here in Altitia to call upon Leviathan, goddess of the seas, spirit of the deep. By the sacred rite, I will commune with the Hydrian. But first, some of the character I models are kind of rough. <laughs> some of them are kind of rough. On my honor as Oracle. Sorry, I'm just being. I'm being I will not petite. rest until the darkness is banished from our world and the light is restored. Yeah, voice acting overall for all characters is good. Even for Luna and Freya, like her voice, she sounds good. 
like in general like so far all of final fantasy late, the latest final fantasy games like 15 and remake oh like all of them have good voice oh good voice acting like they really good and especially with the new one uh, ff16 uh good voice acting hell even stranger of paradise has some good voice acting like the dialogue was dumb but the voice the character's voice in them made it made them sound good Okay, look after the citizens. We got him covered. So, it begins. It begins. <sighs> this is where shit's gonna go down. Shit's gonna go down, and I'm, I'm excited. <laughs> Because this is the part where the story actually, like, is very entertaining. It is I, Luna Freya, blood of the Oracle. Goddess of the seas, I beseech you, enter into this covenant that the king might reclaim the stone. Damn. Dude. It sounded like the dragon from Elder Ring again. Holy shit. Flashbacks. Uh jeez. Even though this game came out before Elden Ring. Even still, I I got flashbacks to Elden Ring. I do. Let's go. Mm. God damn. We're strong, boys. We're strong. Oh, our buff is still on. Perfect. Nice. Let's go. Yeah, this is one of the coolest missions, dude. It's just literally just the Empire, Leviathan. I get all that is just so cool. That's cold. Mm. Mm. That was 16. Come on out. Mm. Not worthy. Not worthy. Let's do this. It's like overall, it's it's a cool mission. What sucks is that it kind of gives me flashbacks to um the beginning or the first cutscenes that we got uh for um or at least not the not the cutscenes but the first uh trailer reveals. 415 where it shows like uh noctis taking part in the fall of uh insomnia like the, the literally like the first announcement trailer where they announced it as 15 instead of verse verse 13 um those that specific uh sequence so that mission it reminds me of that which sucks because in the beginning noctis was supposed to take part in uh, the fall of um insomnia damn d d damn so it sucks we never really got that mission. But I'm glad but this is what it kind of gives me vibes from. Just this specific mission. Which is cool. I know what you must know. That the King of Kings is to drive the darkness from our star. It is in receiving mercy that men offer praise, and in shedding grace that the gods solicit worship. She can actually do some shit. <laughs> she can actually do some stuff. Worthy. 
Jump, I got you, boy. I got you. Leap. Man. Ah. Hey. What was this? <laughs> New ride we borrowed from the Nips. This will get us close. <laughs> Serious? Here she comes. I got this. Oh shit. Yeah, it's su it's such a cool like the whole sequence of, of this fight is is really badass. Oh shit. Let's go. Hmm. Ah! I'm getting zero XP. Oh shit! <laughs> Ooh. Request her power. Demand her power. Demand her power. Hey, your power. Give it up. Does a reasonable tone maintain a commanding tone? Commanding tone. I'm a strong king. Don't you understand? I'm the king. Well, not not like that. <laughs> I thought you were saying more like confident, like. Give me the power. Maintain commanding tone. Come on, Hawk. So, you want to do this the hard way? Fine. Uh, okay, did not. All right. <laughs> Grow stronger. Oh shit! Iron A. Hey, shit. <laughs> That's not what I meant. Knock this, but okay. <laughs> I know for a fact I picked the uh, to be more reasonable. The trial Leviathan. Oh shit. Oh shit. Where are we in the map? Okay, so we're here. Cool. So the only way you'll help me is if I take you down. Oh shit. Ah! Oh shit, soundtrack's picking up. Oh, our buff ran, uh, ran out. Let's go. Yeah, just find a big, big baddie. Oh fuck. Oh! Oh shit! Fuck! Ah! Okay, I'm getting flashbacks to uh, the savior fight. Really quick. Oh, I got hit. Let me change all oh, the soundtrack kick sets. Um, we'll stick with it. Now we'll stick with the our, the row arms. Ah! Stick with the row arms. Yeah, I don't think right now we're gonna need them right now. Ah! Oh shit. Oh fuck. Ah. Warp. Warp Nactus. Warp, damn it. Oh my god, the prompt's not showing. There we go. I don't think I can attack him right now. Ah.
Oh, I can't, I can't, I can't hit him. Oh shit, we're high up, dude. Oh my god. Oh! Hmm. Shit. Running out of platforms. Oh shit. God, this music is so badass, dude. Right now, the stamina. Oh, fucking shit. Alright. Ouch. There we go. Okay, so we do have to deal, deal damage to him. Ow! Oh, hey, Arden. Now, about that ring. On second thought, you let him have it. <laughs> and do remind him about the crystal. <laughs> oh, Prince, your bride awaits. I will pass the ring to the rightful king. When the prophecy is fulfilled, all enthralled to darkness shall know peace. Oh shit, here we go. Oh, let's go. This makes kind of sense now because we actually have all the optional royal arms. <laughs> so we have a good amount of royal arms. So it's cool. Oh shit, my hair is going. Let's rock. Let's go. Yeah, this is all the row I'm showing we that we have. Sick. Oh. Hmm. Yes, let's go. All right. So here's where uh, Noctis is able to use uh, Armager, like a more powerful version of Armager, right? Where he's able to use all the pow the powers of the Royal Arms. Oh, I thought I have iframe. So here, our moving the analog stick, we're just able to like move fast. Oh, but we have no iframe. Shit. Pressing X, we do a super dash. Cool. Where's our warp strike? Oh shit! The camera could not follow him. Yeah, we just shoot at all our entire uh, weapons. 
Oh, that did, that did some damage. Alright, boys, let's go. It's sick. It's badass. Let's go. It's cool. Uh, but I wish it was kind of like implemented a little bit better. Like, it still feels alright, you know? Like, the warp strike kind of like, we can't really see Noctis do anything. Then again, Noctis is fighting like a big, big ass uh, enemy boss, so already it's kind of a little bit annoying because it's a big enemy, big boss, big monster. Oh, eat it. Now we can shoot projectiles. It's so cool. Damn! Look at that shit! Yep, I am the king. Damn, we're just doing big damage. Just lay on him, dude. <laughs> I don't even think we had to defend at all. Oh, we defend. Look, our uh, royal arms. Oh, shit. It's really cool. It's a very much a scripted fight. I mean, I, I don't, I don't think. I mean, I'm pretty sure you could lose if you lose a lot of health, but hey, yeah, you, you can still use potions. But even still. It's a pretty much scripted fight. Damn, we could just fucking load on him. The sound effects aren't even. <laughs> They're not even following him. Where is he? The sound effects just disappeared. There we go. <laughs> Goddamn. All right, let's go. Let's finish you off. God damn, sorry, the Lithan. Mm. I'm the king. Lend me your power. The sound effects that were not. <laughs> they disappeared. There we go. Hmm. Finish him off. Yeah, he just uses all of the royal arms, all the moveless. So cool. We are done. Come on. There we go. Ooh. Oh, shit. Oh. Let's go. There we go. And this music, dude. Let's rock. Ooh. <laughs> it's cool. It's cool. Got time on D. Still good though. Still good though. It's done. Blessed stars of life and death. Oh shit, Titan.
Noctis. Here we go. Mm. Full on CGI cuts. Uh, Luna? So, you found your way here. Yeah, I remember looking at uh the, the CGI cutscenes in uh Final Fantasy 13. <laughs> and they looked pretty good. Who they looked pretty that? good. They even showed some CGI cutscenes in um Why wouldn't you see in it? FF7 remake? Because my prayers have been answered. They all look good. My calling fulfilled. But, but personally, I prefer, you know, you know, us. uh real time cutscenes, you, you know? The stars shine for you I like now. to see how how good the game looks, right you know? Shall be restored to you. Do you remember the flowers of Tenebrae? It seems so long ago. You'll find they await you still, looming from hill to vale. Will you be there? This is actually a really good scene. A really, really nice scene. Would that I could join you. But this moment will have to be enough. Yeah, Luna looks so beautiful. It's not right. All I... All I wanted was to save you. When the world falls down around you and hope is lost. When you find yourself alone amid a lightless place. Look to the distance. Know that I am there. And that I watch over you always. Farewell. Yeah. <laughs> good scene. Very, very good scene. A very uh, good scene. One of the, I'd say, the best scenes in uh, the game. Really good scene. Back with us. I'll tell the others. Though it may take a bit. You're hurt. Ah, oh, small sacrifice in the greater battle. And Luna? She has passed. Umbra left that for you. Hey, at least she got her, her final message, you know? Got it. <laughs> sorry, too soon? I'm sorry. I'm sorry.
I guess I'm in love with now. Hey. Ah. <laughs> uh. Oh, oh! <laughs> he took a fucking selfie with her, <laughs> with her in the fucking background. <laughs> no! Oh, come on! Oh, oh, is this me in the morning? Find out Luna's dead. No, no, this is the life of fight. Ah, oh, <laughs> this is a good photo. Fuck. <laughs> No! No, I cannot be laughing. My waifu died. My waifu died. Ah, oh, shit. Ah, oh, no. Hey, how's it going? My name is Brian, also known as Bray, and welcome back to Final Fantasy 15. This is Road to Final Fantasy 16, where I play all Final Fantasy games, all leading up to Final Fantasy 16. And we are here with Episode Ignis. So, this takes place during the Leviathan fight, uh, during um, uh, Altitia, where uh, the Empire comes and uh, tries to uh, stop them, right? So this takes place right uh, as the whole chaos is, is going on. Uh, we're not. I think it's after. Um, I think it's during Noctis fighting Leviathan, but I'm pretty sure it's also like us evacuating the the citizens and stuff like that. Or I believe it's right after the, we defeat Leviathan, right? Not too quite sure. I'm pretty sure uh, we'll we'll see it right when we start the game. Um, but we're playing episode Ignis. Uh, like I said before, I'll be adding these uh episodes, uh episode Ignis, all these DLCs into the main story, so it can flow. A little bit more uh, smoothly and the story will make sense you know uh, because I remember when I first played um uh, 15 I didn't really know what happened to Ignis I feel like we just missed like a big 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 chunk of the story when we saw Ignis and his injuries and stuff like that and what also sucks as well that the game wasn't with the Royal Edition the game doesn't really tell you um because I feel like to, to get a better experience to the Final Fantasy 15 story and what happens to Ignis and stuff like that is for when the when we get to the point of where the episode uh where the dlc happens right uh the royal edition should have given you the the prompt to say like hey uh the dlc happens in this part would you like to play the episode ignis episode gladius etc to just so it could the story will flow a lot more smoothly you know i just wish it kind of did that um but anyway let us begin episode ignis um let's Let's begin, shall we? Uh, and of course, we're going to go with normal difficulty, so let's rock. Listen well. A king cannot lead by standing still. A king pushes onward always, accepting the consequences and never looking back. That said, a king can accept nothing without first accepting himself. Should he stand still, I ask you to stand by him and lend him a hand, as his friend, and as his brother. Please, take care of my son. I'm afraid I must ask your forgiveness.
he's okay. The trial should be over by now, right? Can't tell a bloody thing from here. Let's make for the altar. Damn, we got fucked up, didn't we? We literally got, we got hit straight up on on impact by that freaking ship. God damn! I thought we evaded that, but now we got hit. <laughs> All right, so this to take place right after Noctis, uh, or after the Le Le Leviathan Leviathan fight. After right after the fight, that's when a uh, Titan uh, appears. Oh, we got a HUD. Let's go. So if I remember correctly, I think this is the best DLC. I'm not sure. I think or I remember liking Prompto and Ignis a lot. Because meaning there were a lot more story focused, more character moments here and there. Right? Um And I think I liked um Ignis because of the alternative ending that we got. Because it was such a more happy ending. <laughs> I'm more worried about Noct. I'll find a way to the altar, but I need you to keep the enemy distracted. You got it. I need a better vantage point. All right. So yeah, for uh, Ignis, remember to uh, his combat. Remember to switch elements. So fire, uh, thunder, and frost. So uh, I forgot when is when I forgot how to, his gameplay works exactly, but we'll we'll see. Everywhere. Uh, Ignis uh, spell daggers can imbue the elemental properties. Press uh, the D-pad, switch elements, and enchantments. Press up for a flame blind. Your spell daggers, blades imbued with the fire type ele elemental energy, are strong against single targets. Got it. Okay. Hello, good sir. Book boy, what level are we at? Level 31. Okay, yeah, pretty good level. Uh, actually, we're like in level, we're actually level 60 in the, the main game. Just saying, game, just saying. <laughs> but I guess, like, switching, like, when we get to the certain point of the story, it probably would have been kind of difficult to, um, uh, frostbind your spells, blades, and be with the ice type element energy deals damage to enemies around the target. Got it. Okay. Oh. Yeah. Got it. Yeah. Cease this. Damn. All right. All right. So fires for single and frost is for like uh, groups of enemies. Got it. Um. Yeah, it probably would have been difficult to um incorporate that. You know, to like when the ha when the DLC happens in the story. To kind of switch it because I, they also it's kind of important for like the levels, what character the levels are at, etc. Because for Gladius, we're at level like 26 in the DLC, and here we're at level 36. So I guess it all depends. Probably would have been like a little bit too overpowered. Oh shit. Ow. What was that? Thunderstorm for you. Uh, blaze and beautiful lighting type elements. Energy allows the wheelers to zip across the field to strike far away enemies. Got it. Okay. Oh shit. Ooh. Hey. Hey. Hold circle to collect your thoughts and focus or dodge attacks and land uh, counter strikes with filling the yellow meter. 
Then press circle when the meter is full to gain total clarity, allowing you to target and, and attack multiple enemies at once. When you gain total clarity, your spell daggers perform differently depending on their elemental enchantments. Fireblown dagger strike, single thing, yeah, yeah. Multiples, increase damage and shock enemies. Got it. Hey. Yeah, we're fast. Hey, look at me doing flips and shit. Press L immediately after taking damage to stay yourself. Press square in time to prompt to deliver a counter strike. Got it. I was mashing it. Maybe that did something bad. Let's go. Uh, sh shrink together because uh, then it hits to increase your damage output. Okay. <laughs> Let's go. You got more? I think we're good. What's over? Oh, never mind. You got eight seconds. I don't think we can get it. Oops. Okay, okay. Yeah, his, combat's pr his combat is pretty uh, simple. Right, we get a grapple. Right, in this section we get a cool grapple. Right, right. <laughs> Or just zip through this place. Yeah, yeah, okay. If you get a hook shot from a fallen imaginative trooper, press L to put yourself to a point of high ground. High ground! Got it. <laughs> We're playing Arkham, let's go. District has fallen. Put your force up to overtaking the city of Altisha. Uh, Press RT to check your presence of the situation map. Oh, yeah, we're literally playing Arkham. <laughs> um, red, Alphaheim, white, open. Okay. Right, this is Rebel 2. Right, yeah, we're playing fucking Arkham, dude. Yeah, so we gotta take out uh, some districts, I believe. Yeah, we gotta clear these districts out. Something like that. Attention, all units. The Hydrian has fallen to the Arkian. Uh, check the Empire's shrink uh, in a given area from the Fletcher Power Balance Graph. Oh, okay. Forces moving from the city center toward the altar. All units withdraw hey. from the front line. Hey, let's go. Hey, that's uh, sick. Nice. Oh, I could do that. I'll get you a whole circle and I could get it like that. Yeah. Hey, nice. Hey, okay. Hey, sick. Oh, I thought I could do my jump of oh shit. I jumped.
I didn't check if we have any directional inputs. Oh god, oh god. Ah, <laughs> Ah! Oh, you're still alive! Holy shit! Jeez! Oh, you need to go. Hey. True, I thought he died. That's why I, I want to go take out the other enemies. Okay, so districts fall and we have to um, retake them. I think. Right? Yeah, we just gotta retake them. Got it! I feel not easy, Joe. I think the entire city of Altisha, in case you haven't taken a look around. He and his girlfriend are probably long gone. No, I made a promise to keep him safe. A promise I intend to keep. I'll know them. I'll see what my men can do, but I won't promise anything. Ignis here. Do you copy? Right and clear. What's your status? Uh, uh, preoccupied. Uh, uh. Uh, probably will be for a while. Understood. Uh, uh. What about? Prompto. Prompto. Do you copy? Dude, we get, we can rest here. I mean, I just want. I wish you want to see the. The animation here. Oh, we're just reading a map. <laughs> we're just reading a map. Yeah, we can save our progress here. So I'm assuming it's gonna be the same length as the Gladios episode. Oops. Right, yeah, L2 does that. Yeah, dude, we're playing Arkham, dude. <laughs> we're playing Arkham, that's what we're doing, dude. It's cool. It's really cool. Yeah, each DLC plays completely different, you know? Um... Like, Gladius is a character action uh, game, right? And then, um... Promptus is, uh... Like a Metal Gear, uh, third-person type of game, right? Because he, uh... He, his, his thing is all about guns. So it's really cool. Again, and Ignis is just Arkham, dude. <laughs> it's cool. Oh, I targeted the wrong enemy. I mean, Ray, we still got it. Still got it. It or also kind of like a Muso type of game, you know, where uh, those um, right, a Muso type of game, we have to take out uh, takes take over some uh, districts or some areas, right? A Muso type of game, right? That's what it also kind of like reminds me from the zones and everything. Or at least, at least any game where it has those, like, you know, take control of these zones, etc. Type of games, right? You get this item. Yeah, music kicks ass, dude. I'm vengeance. Ugh. Let's go, dude. Hey, yo, I'm vengeance. Oh, <laughs> ow, ow. Easy. Give me those A, please. Great A, please. Mech. Oh! Let's go! Oh shit! Yo! Hey, that was sick! Oh fuck. Oh, okay. That's an insta kill then. That's an insta kill, dude. Damn. Ah.
Let's go. Oh yeah, we can switch uh, weapons during combo. That's cool. What's in the full clarity for the thunder? Oh yeah, it's that. No, no not, not the thunder. The, the ice. I haven't checked the ice yet. <laughs> oh, I guess I can't do it. Okay, we have enemies around. Yeah, then we gotta have the enemies around. Okay. Knocked. I'm coming. Oh shit, never mind. What will I do? Oh no. Grapple. Oh, I can't grapple? I feel like you grapple. Just saying, Ignis, you're pretty much vengeance right now, right? You are Batman right now. <gasps> Have you located the ring yet, Commander? And what of Luna Freya? Both, High Commander. But our forces are unable to extract either at present. We have no way of approaching the altar so long as the Archean stands in our way. God. Neither the king nor the oracle will escape with their lives if the fighting continues. Order a full retreat. I'm going in alone. Uh, but, sir... I assume you are already familiar with how I got this arm. Yes, sir. Then you must also know the ring is worthless without one who can wield it. Uh, very well, sir. How dare you address me with such impudence. Has he forgotten his place entirely? Or is he too concerned about his sister to care? I believe we fight him in this DLC. We fight most of the big baddies, or at least with Ignis and I don't know what Prompto I, I know. Which way to the altar? So I was right. When we first encounter him, um we were gonna fight him in a DLC. We don't we, yeah, we don't finish him off in the actual main story. Bennett. Vengeance! Mm. I mean, charges up. Alright, what does this do? This is it. Ooh, cool. Are right, you guys don't do anything? Bada boop. Bada boop. And. Hey, yo, I'm literally freaking vengeance, dude. That's one of Batman's moves, dude. Swear. I'm vengeance, dude. It's literally what that is, dude. Or is that just me? It cannot be just me, dude. We're literally playing Arkham. Hey, let's go. It just keep coming. Ow, my legs. Oh shit. Ow. I'm assuming overclock just uh boosts our attacks. Right. Ah shit. Nice. More. Oh shit, here we go. Insta kills. Oh, you thought I got those iframes, baby. Let's go. There's more coming. Shit. Ah! <gasps> I died! Oh, I'm about to eat it for sure. Son of a bitch. Ah! Hey, 
Hey, really quick, let me check what Overclock does. Can I check what Overclock does? Oh, I, oh details. Um, increased damage dealt by spell daggers for a set period of time. Deplete, okay, yeah, just uh, extra damage. Got it. This is it. It's over. There's more. There's more. Yeah. Ow. Dude, I'm Batman. I'm Vengeance. Let's go. All right, get away. All right, let's go. And we in it. All right, grapple, 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 grapple. Grapple away, grapple away. That'll get it right. Wait, I'm headed to the altar. I need a boat. Have you lost your marbles? No, but we'll lose the king if we don't act. Give him what he wants. Understood. Give my thanks. Keep them. I'll take you instead. Do you Have you lost your marbles? <laughs> hey, hard question, Iggy. Do you copy? Yes or no? Yes, I copy. Then speak up next time. Look, I'm just as worried as you are. But we can't go losing our heads. If we want to save Nock, we got to keep it together. Yes. I suppose you're right. We'll keep moving. Hang in there, Iggy. I will. Thanks. Bye -bye. Let's go. I'm Vengeance. There you are. Ready to ship out. Ready as I'll ever be. You best get the civilians out of here while there's still time. Listen, are you sure about this? Of course. We'll just make sure you come back alive. Both of you. Okay. I'm surprised there's still civilians here. I thought they evacuated the city when, uh... We were gonna summon... Ah! <laughs> we were gonna summon, um... Leviathan. Got you, buddy. Got you. You can tell all the characters, like all the boys, care about each other, dude. It's wholesome, dude. Damn. Again, it gives me feels, vibes from the first trailer, man. Of the fall of insomnia, man. It gives me straight up vibes of it. The whole destruction and everything. Oh, shit. Coming knocked. Oh, fuck. Oh shit, it's so cool, dude. Oh fuck. It's so cool. Oh fuck. It's so cool, dude. Damn. Hell yeah, dude. Ah. Oh shit. Oh, we're dead. Oh, we're so dead. Okay, so I was right. We do take them out in the DLCs. Okay. Ah, oh, shit. Oh! You're trash, Brock. Your aim is trash. Damn, his aim is trash. <laughs> oh shit. Oh, your, your aim is really trash. Okay, so this is how we're gonna fight him? Oh, fuck. Dude! 
Am I controlling him? No, this is this is a played out sequence right now. <laughs> that was actually pretty cool. I'm afraid not. It will never be yours. I'll make sure of it. Aw shit, let's go. Finally, finally one of the uh finally Oh what what the fuck did these guys come from? Can I grapple? All right, it broke. Yeah. Can't see. No, no, go here. There we go. All right, let me take out the snipers. Oh, shit. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Uh, ooh. Ah, fuck. No friendly fire? Oh my god, I can't see shit. Okay, it sucks I'm getting shot. Oh, no, 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 no. Ignis. Aim. Oh my. Ignis. Aim at this fucker. <sighs> Thank you. Here we go. And deplete his health, dude. Ah! That was very easy. <laughs> I was getting shot by the snipers, and every time I, I got shot, I got stunned, and I had to press L1 to recover. Oh, hi there. I didn't expect him to die like that. <laughs> Ravers. We fight Ravis in this DLC, right? Or at least I think we do. Hey, chapter one, calling tonight. Never mind, he's an ally. Huh. I've no quarrel with you, boy. Join me. I can secure us away from the king and the oracle. How do I know I can trust you? Have you any other options? You have a point. Then it's settled. Oh, hey, 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 quick. See, uh, getting shot and then getting stuck. Oh, hey, cool, 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 cool. Yeah, damn. Ravis is actually really strong. I forgot how strong he is, to be honest. Hey, cool, cool, cool. Bye bye. Damn, he's fast. Hey. Oh. <laughs> More of them. Oh, 
Yeah, getting shot by these guys, or at least by the snipers especially, because it kind of, um, you have to recover. And yeah, it's kind of annoying. Mm, so cool. And that is satisfying to pull off. Concentrate, concentrate, aim, nice. Oh, hi. Oh. A few more. Oh. Sick. Hey, Ravis. You might be of use after all. Follow me, if you're ready. There's no point in resting. I don't see no point. Magitek armor. Indeed. I never really got the point on why uh, Ravis kind of is retreat. with the Empire. I think it's kind of explained a little bit in the lore. Very well. At least in the trailers. Again, I don't know. I forget. Um, yeah, here we go. Why turn against the Empire? Why now? My sister's life is at stake. Is that not reason enough? Oh. The paths we tread may differ, but the blood coursing through our veins is one. So too is our calling. I must protect her. It's about time, goddamn. I'm about knocked. Is it safe to assume this means you'll lend Nocta hand? Don't be asinine. Our interests may have aligned in this moment, but I have not allied myself with him. What of it? I have doubts that you were born with a prosthetic. Your doubts are correct. I once believed it was I who was destined to dispel the darkness. This is proof I was wrong. I'm pretty sure most likely he joined the Imperial Army to protect his sister, right, in a way. I guess now him switching uh, sides makes the sense Empire for his sister. After the ring of the Lucii. If the ring falls into the wrong hands, I fear there's little hope for either of them. Then we must hurry. Yes. See rude. Haven't much time. I'm Damn. You have a lot of mechs. God damn. Um, between the area, approach the mech, undetected, press X to have a signal, deliver a stealth gear. Tread quietly. Metal gear. Metal gear. Okay. I think Ravis' design is pretty cool. It's really cool. Oh. Ravis, you dumbass. Oh. Never mind. I can't. There we go, I guess. Not really a stealth kill, but okay. Okay. Okay, so we don't fight him here. Do you truly believe Noctis is the one true king? I believe it goes without saying. Yet when the flames of war enshrouded Tenebrae, his father spared us nary a second thought. No savior king could possibly be born of such cowardice. To aid the king is the oracle's calling, is it not? Or have you simply forgotten the pledge sworn by your forebears? I have not forgotten, nor have I forgiven. But I believe we do fight Ravis in the main story. I think. Again, it's been a. Ooh, let's go. It's been a while since I played the actual. Live this the full story again, so. Could be wrong. Alright, eat this. No! I mean. Whatever. 
I, I swear, this this still has the problem, man. The lock on. You, I don't know why they don't lock on on the closest enemy. They lock on the farthest enemy, which is really annoying. I don't. Mean, I don't need. We don't. I don't need to see the kick ass. Ah. Hey. Shit. Ooh. I mean, it kind of did nothing, but okay. Because <laughs> he's, you know, he's like, he's, he's electric, so. But it's okay. Oh. It was easy. This is a light work. Damn, that is light work, dude. Holy shit, I was king around. Damn, very light work, dude. You all right? Well enough. Oh, resilient, I'll give you that. If Noctis is the true king, he still has much to prove. The darkness will not wait for his ascent. It will consume our star, and all upon it. I know. He may not yet grasp the gravity of his calling, but once he does, he will rise to the occasion and fulfill his destiny. One can only hope you're right. <sighs> Knocked! Luna Freya. Hmm? Are you a dog? Was the dog near her? What did I just see? A vision of what's to come? Stole from me my mother. And now they make a sacrifice of my sister. Get out of my way. What are you doing? What I should have done long ago. Ridding us of this menace. Damn, you guys roll. <laughs> ah. Yo, this is cool. Hmm. Hey, 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 hey. Sick. <laughs> oh, so we do fight him. Okay. Ooh. Come here. Hold oh, 62. Ow. I missed? Lady Lunafreya came to her king's aid in his time of need. She was fulfilling her calling. Ah. Don't try to justify this. She didn't need to die. I missed it? I frames. Kill him, and her sacrifice will have been for naught. Kill him, and you kill her hopes for the future. What hope is there in a future that my sister will never see? Oh. Oh, get fucked. Hmm. Hmm. 
God damn. Oh, so that's our back attack. So we do have the uh, directional attacks. Oh god. Ooh. Oh, so it does, it does random buffs? So give me a buff on the storm vine, even though I wanted it on the, the fire one. Eat this. Prepare yourself. Ooh. Death to Noctis and his men. Huh. Mother. <gasps> <laughs> I thought there was gonna be some, um, some fucking quick time events or something. That was bullshit. <laughs> That was straight up bullshit, alright? It looked like it was gonna do some type of quick time avenger something or something. Uh or something like that, right? Ow. My turn. Did I hit him? I did. Oh no. Hmm, get fucked. Yeah. I always knew. You would face your fate without fear. Fulfill your duty without regret. But part of me always hoped that I might see you happy one day. Your burdens lifted. Free to live and love as you please. have made a beautiful bride. Even in death, the oracle does not rest. Only once the darkness is dispelled is her calling truly fulfilled. And as in life, I know she will confront that challenge with a smile on her face. Oh, sister, please don't go. Please don't leave me. Tell you, man, the voice acting kicked ass, man. It's good. Damn. And even in this episode, they give so much more character for uh Ravis in the DLC that doesn't show in the in the main story. Um, and again, it's always that argument like it it should have been in the main game, right? It should have not been DLC. It should have been in the main game. But even still, like even with the Royal Edition, it adds so much with it, which well, I feel like the Royal Edition is a much better package you know to play all the dlcs etc you see more 
on the characters and stuff like that. And it's good. It, it's good. It just sucks that it was stuck in development hell. You could tell they wanted to tell this type of story. And it just did not work out in, in the end. But, you know, I, I like these moments. They're good moments. Gladio! Are you all right? Where's Prompto? Well, well. What have we here? <laughs> you... Arden. Oh dear. Was I that transparent? Damn! He transformed any someone a bunch of guards, dude. <laughs> he, like, he, pulled, he pulled those guys out of his ass, dude. Holy shit. Hey, Arden. The game's up, my boy. You kind of stop on my face. That was kind of mean. Come now, why not follow your liege's lead and stop resisting? <laughs> Never. You risk life and limb to safeguard the king of kings, only to witness him fail. So, <laughs> you must be so disappointed. Unhand him. I know I am. Oh, what good is a world that only ever lets you down? Why not end it all right here? No. You can't. <laughs> no! My, you two certainly have become fast friends. The ring. Of course I'm gonna fight back, of course. Of course I'm gonna fight back. Screw you, Arden. I'm gonna fight back for my boy. Alright, alright, alright. It's a lot of grunting. <laughs> okay, you gotta you stood up, eh? <laughs> Goddamn. Such a cool moment, man. Such a cool moment. And also very sad. So cool. <laughs> well, they've 
show you their favor of truth. Oh shit. Well, if you're so keen on keeping oh, shit. safe, I'd like to see you try. Baba. Baba. Ba. So now we have the ring, the power of the rings on our side. Oh, big trip, my dude. Let's go. Mm, damn, push it down, dude. Oh shit. Oh, yeah, now we are able to warp here and there. God damn. Oh, just lay on him, dude. Oh. Ow. Damn, let's go. <laughs> We're just knocking him down, dude. Ow. Ow. Ring enchantments has worn off. Oh shit. Final results. Hey. Cool. And so Arden just fuck off. <laughs> That was rather reckless. Where is Noct? Is he... Is he... All right? More or less. All thanks to you. Thank goodness. Where are you? What? Be still. Conserve your strength. You have a calling to fulfill. Not! Iggy! As do I. May fortune favor us both. And you as well, Noctis. Good DLC. A really good, good DLC. Um, there is a second ending on uh, to this DLC. Uh, however, comma, we are not going to play it. <laughs> we are not going to play it. Mainly because uh, since this is the true, the true ending to this DLC, right? It leads to the main story and stuff like that. The other ending is like an, altern an alternative ending, or, you know, a happy ending. Um, but I think that's like a really good ending as well. Um, I think the second ending is actually pretty good. But we're gonna stick with the first ending just so it could get yeah, a lead um well it could lead you know uh smoothly into the main story um but overall this dlc was pretty good it shows that uh ignis was able to make a big sacrifice you know in order to protect noctis and stuff so i really do like that and um and you we even see ravis get a little bit more uh, character development you know um uh, that we don't get to see in the main game so the DLCs are good, you know, they, they, they help a lot for the story. They help a lot in the story. And uh, I'm happy with that. How are you feeling? <sighs> no. 
Perhaps it might be best if we brought our journey to a close. Why? It's just that um, we've already lost so much. Too much. Are you kidding me? That's exactly why I have to keep going. Because if I give up now, their sacrifices would have been for nothing. And you... You of all people... You should know that better than anyone. The decision is yours to make, and yours alone. But do remember, we will stand with you always, and help you bear your burdens. Don't be afraid to let us share the load. I'll be back. And it just shows that Ignis is willing to stop this to keep Ignis, uh, Noctis safe. Good DLC. Very, very good DLC. I like it. I think the second ending makes this DLC a lot more fun and cool, you know? But we will not be uh, doing the second ending because, you know, um, we, we can't do that. <laughs> we can't do that. Not for this LP. It's a, good, it's a good ending, though. It's a very wholesome ending. I already did an LP on my first run of Ignis. Um, but even still, it's a pretty bad LP, so I don't recommend you to watch it. <laughs> Please don't. Alright, back to the main game. So, we're going to roll through Tenebrae. Not before visiting the royal tomb at Cartanico. Oh, uh, you're sure you're up to that? The wounds have mended. Eyesight's a matter of time. The hell is wrong with you? What? We're not stopping in Tenebrae. You need to grow up and get over it. I am over it. I'm here, aren't I? Maybe when you're not too busy moping, you can look around and give a shit about someone worse off than you. Let go of me. How's that ring fit you? You rather carry it around than wear it? She gave her life so you could do your duty, not so you could sit around feeling sorry for yourself. You don't think I know you that? You don't! Ignis took one for you, too. And for what? Enough! Gladio. You think you're a king, but you're a coward. Shut up! Don't do this! I... <sighs> I get it, all right? I get it! Then get a grip. Pull your head out of your ass already. <sighs> Knocked! Leave him.
I just is free to roam around the train until it pulls to the station. Oh, off the rails. I, I like I like the whole like um them being angry at each other and stuff like that because it, it works. It works really well because up up until this point they just been because at this point when I'm in like there's a whole roller coaster basically you know shit's gonna go down all the time where like everybody like everything starts to just fall down you know the the bond everybody's just a break etc but it's good you know because we spent all this time with the boys just hanging and chilling etc you bet we'll be raiding it oh, poor ignis oh. rest no yeah especially with uh, ignis now being blind now ah oh, man ah oh, man god damn it Wake up, Timmy. You did pick up. Take a summon swords out of thin air, please. Please. Yeah, poor Noctis, man. Poor Noctis. Buddy, that was mean. Check. Oh. Passing the Oracle. Uh, RIP Waifu. RIP Waifu. Oh. You know those moments where like when you're kind of passing through and you kind of have to like like in a kind of like tight space and you kind of do this so you won't bump into each other um fuck the people who like literally just do not move at all you know people make the effort to just you know like do this so you won't hit them but some motherfuckers just like walk in and they don't move at all you have to do the, all the moving and shit you know and then when you guys kind of bump to each other right um you guys got a bump and that dude gets kind of mad at you, but you tried to maneuver and he didn't, so you know? Like, fuck those guys, dude. Screw those people, man. Like, really. Especially what kind of Gladdy just did down, you know, Noctis kind of, like, evaded and, and Gladdy just, like, went through. It's rude, man. It's rude, alright? I'm just, that's all I'm saying. It's rude. Just make the goddamn effort of moving as well. See, am I, move, am I making the effort to not bump into you because we're two just strangers just going past each other? Make the effort. Don't be a cunt. <laughs> oh, dude, leave her. Leave her. <laughs> but, but yeah, but these uh, chapters coming up is actually pretty good chapters. You know, I actually do like it uh, a lot. Because uh, it shows, like, how the struggle between the four boys and the struggle for Noctis. And, and for him to be worthy to wield that ring, you know? Uh, I mean, he's already worthy to just wield it, but... Noctis himself just can't bring himself to do it because of what happened. So it's a good dynamic. It's a good good plot and everything. It, it's good. I'm telling you, like, the story of FF15 is good. It's a good story. Again, there's just a few missing pieces here and there that you can't really get the full story of it. Um, But it's good. Okay, we'll, we'll, I guess we'll go first person. Here it goes. Oh, there we go. So I, I like it. I like it a lot. Howdy. One step closer to finding the next tomb. I believe this is a uh, katana. I believe. Uh, katana royal arm. I believe. I think it is. Oh, first person. I forgot that that was in first person. I thought I was waiting for Noctis to to load up. See, yeah, this is one of the areas that kind of got scrapped as well. Yeah, Nelfheim. This was a, supposed to be an op an a big area, but um, this is an op This is a place you're able to go in when you play as Prompto's episode. But overall, this was supposed to be a part of the main story, but it got uh cut. Please help me. Huh? Oh, please, sir. Could you help me look for Yelro, Jaro, Becky, and Joe? Help you look for who? 
who, who, and who? Yeah. My <laughs> darling baby chocobos. I oh. thought I'd take them on a trip to see the world, but now they're off seeing it without me. Oh, no. They can't have gone too far. They can barely flap their wings. Oh, they must be so scared. Won't you help me find them? Yeah, okay. Jeez. <laughs> okay. You brought... Oh, you brought chocobos on a... It's cute. But you brought chocobos? Here's one. Hey, hey, you little shit. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, come here. Hey. Come here, buddy. Aww. Yeah, these parts kind of got scrapped, which kind of sucks, you know? You could tell, like, the team and the director had, like, a vision of 415. Like, they, even from the first few trailer, trailers, we seen that what they wanted to tell, the story they, they, want, they wanted to tell, you know? But, you know, stuck in, in development hell and, you know, waiting, like, a decade for this game to come out. And, you know, didn't really live up to people's expectations, you know? I think vanilla F F15 kind of sucks, you know. You know, you know, for the combat, uh, the story especially. Um, but overall, like the Royal Edition kind of helps it. Royal Edition uh, 15 is, is pretty good. Give me here. That's three. Now we're missing one more. It's actually new to me. Oh, there you are. Hey, buddy. Come here. Come here. There you go. Again, lady, you could have helped. Just saying, you could have helped. Oh, thank you. Aren't they just the cutest? They They're are. the most adorable choco chicks in the world. Cute, cute. Okay, thank you. There's an elevator that should take us straight down to the mine. Wonder if the tomb's inside. I would assume. Those two went to grab a bite in that glorified dining car they call a restaurant. Ready to set out. Leave Ignis behind. Uh, I'm pretty sure it'll be an insult to to leave him out. I'll I'll take him. Of course, I'm gonna take Ignis. Why wouldn't I? Come on, man. I'll manage somehow. Well, we made it to the quarry, but our destination likely lies deeper inside. Feeling a little out of my element. We're a foreign species in this environment. Mind we don't end up prey. Right. Good tip. The next walks at a slower pace due to his eye injury. Be sure to not leave him behind. Oh. Before we go further into the dungeon a little bit more, since we have done uh, Ignis epi Ignis's episode, we did episode Ignis, we are now going to go and buy techniques which would give us control of Ignis. Take control of Ignis mid-battle, but with L plus L2. Bada boom. So now we're able to use Ignis in battle. Let's go. So just like uh, Gladius, uh, we could switch with uh, to Ignis uh, uh, right now. So it's cool. Nice. And the last character we need to lock is uh, Prompto. We could unlock him right now, yes. But I feel like it's better to if we unlock him after we complete his episode, you know, just so it could go on smoothly with the story and, and, and stuff. Um, anyway, um, all right. Yeah. We gotta, we gotta wait for him cause he's slow. Right, right, right. God, it sucks. It's so it's it. Oh, oh Don't no. Yourself, Ignis. Oh, oh, that, oh, that makes me sad. Oh no. Speed runner. I can't be waiting for you guys. I'm sorry, Ignis. I don't mean to be mean, but let's go. Yeah. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Hmm. Ow. Let's go. We got perfect dodges. Hmm. We got perfect evades. Oh, oh, hey guys. Nice. I'm pretty sure. Do we take damage? No, we don't take damage. Ow. Let's 
spin move. Hmm. Shit. There you go. Where's Gladius? Oh, there he is. go we're gonna get in a, to get that blindside uh damage he keeps focusing on me there you go prompto are we gonna summon Leviathan I assume so. Because we did just unlock a Leviathan. Or is it going to be... No, Garuda. Okay, let's go. I thought we would summon a Leviathan. We do summon... Yeah, we we are able to summon Leviathan. Um, I would have thought Leviathan would have uh, showed up. Because we literally just unlocked him. I like like when we're under some like some location, right? There's actually animation where it breaks through, right? It makes like a hole, which I like. Yeah. So it's really cool. Got it down here. They parked here. Huh. Wish we could write him a ticket. Nothing but a giant roadblock. Eh, ironic for a vehicle. If we get his motor running, perhaps we can move it out of the way. How about we flip the switch? Hmm. Certainly wouldn't hurt to try. Didn't we find like a few switches? Or were there generators? Oh, I right, right here. Got it. Got it, got it, got it, got it. This looks promising. Is it operational? We'll see. Or just flip the switches and we'll see. Huh, I don't remember this in um in my original LP. Hey, what are you stopping for? I'm not. Let's see here. In case of power failure, use backup generators. There's a key in the shed. Wait, you mean the one up at the top of the cliff? Is there any other? Here, I found the key. Huh, pretty irresponsible to leave it out in the open like that. Where is the generator? Didn't you read the sign, Iggy? Not funny. Come on, Prompto, that's a little too early. Come on now. What are you doing? I mean, I would I would definitely I will laugh. You know? But it's a little too soon, man. <laughs> Mind you, we just go into a near automata boss fight. <laughs> a big that? mech Sounds boss like fight. <laughs> then let's move. You just imagine <laughs> Near music starts playing in the background, like the battle music, and this thing just starts attacking us. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't know. I don't know. I just thought of it, you know. I like Near Automata. It's one of my favorite games of all time. So you know, you know. I'm just saying, you know. Hold up. You sure you're ready for this? You got what it takes. To do what? To face your ancestors and convince them to lend you their strength. Got a long road ahead. Can you see this through? To the end? Can and will. Whether I like it or not, I've got a duty to fulfill. As king. <laughs> You're damn right you do. Then that means you'd better start taking this seriously. <sighs> Gladius' words, uh, Spurled Noctis to self-reflection, now rose Noctis without these, increased by 
Now, I don't again it's, it's been a while since I played the vanilla version of 15 so I don't know if this was there or this is part of the royal edition I don't remember we did it together oh Nox is trying to cheer everybody up this I mean this huge the tombs further in you want to wait here alone here not what I said no Gladius come on oh man something stinks around here don't oh slip and shit. Fall whatever that is yeah, we do fight a, a marble here. Royal tomb's gotta be around here somewhere. The question is, where? Ew. What is this? I hate eggs. Do we or, really want to know what's back there? <laughs> that looks like a hey. Is that in space? What is it? So bad. A marble up. There we go. Is e oh we do so much damage, dude. We do so much damage. Oh, I don't think he did any damage. Oh, this is easy work. Come on now. Oh. Oh, he has health. He regained health. What? His little small babies. It's useless. What do we do? This might be a good time to panic. No. There must be a way. The Marlboro has gone berserk. Keep your distance and avoid the bad breath. Oh shit. Regroup. Um, yeah, it just can't use any uh, techniques. Shit. Yeah, I can. I can even switch uh, uh, characters. Yeah, not not for right now. Now look at this damage, dude. Damn, let's go. It keeps healing himself. Oh, we do got we just gotta flee. Oops. Aegis had rejoined the fray, obtaining the technique Lebra uh, Elementia. Okay, new technique? Oh, okay. Is it dead? It is! Whisking them just makes a mess. Better fry them. Fireball! There we go. I think we found it. Now let's Guess use the katana, baby. Let's go. Ooh, let's go. Get a katana, boys. All right, let's all ask. Yeah, let's. Katana of Warrior, let's go. Let's go. I'm gonna change it for the shield. Hey, let's go. 
We got a katana, boys. Let's go. I am now the storm is approaching. A moment. Is everything okay? It bloody well isn't. And I won't suffer this pointless bickering in silence any longer. <sighs> Let's be frank. My vision hasn't improved, and probably won't. Yet in spite of this, I would remain with you all. To the very end. <laughs> Sorry, but I object. War is a matter of life and death. But we'll be it's there. It's not about us looking out for him. Uh-huh. Well, then he should be free to choose. There's more to it than just what he wants. I know full well. I won't ask you to slow down. If I cannot keep up, I will bow out. <sighs> what says his majesty? Knocked. You are king. One cannot lead by standing still. A king pushes onward, always, accepting the consequences and never looking back. Gladio, Noct will take his rightful place, but only once he's ready. Have it your way. We're still taking a big risk. We better all be ready. Yeah, I'm, I'm telling you the their bond between these characters the most is the one of the best parts of this game, man. Um, it's because you see you just hang out with them from the first like, uh, ten or you know, twenty hours if you've been doing like a bunch of side missions, side quests and stuff. You've been with them the entire time. And then when something big happens, it's kind of like we um, falling right? apart. It's huh, it's well it's off. cool to see, you know, on. how everything's going. Really interesting to see. Yeah, well, let's roll. In that case, hop aboard. We'll be leaving shortly. We're here for you. Yeah, let us help you. And we're off. Are we clear? Crystal. Hey, watch your step. You're not pushing onward? Not at his expense. Fair enough. <laughs> oh. oh, shit. Oh, shit. I have not played Arden's DLC at all. I heard it's pretty good. Like, I heard it's pretty good. You kind of sympathize with Arden and the thing he's been through because I heard his backstory is pretty brutal. So I'm very curious to, um, see what his DLC has in store because I never played his DLC uh, I never played his DLC so we're definitely will check out his DLC because um, I do want to see what uh, his backstory and stuff like that because I heard it's pretty good I heard it's pretty good oh why is this sad <laughs> oh oh why is this sad oh problems there's not that many good pictures you know but even I don't know I'm not sure we should I don't, I don't know if we should save these pictures they're kind of sad <laughs> They're kind of sad. Uh, we're good. It's not. It's kind of sad. <laughs> oh.